Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Today we're going to work on 104 on the FTC K-6 through elementary practice test. This is a great problem for elementary school teachers that are preparing for a teacher certification exam in math and need to review some of those core math concepts. Today we're going to be dealing with how to find the mean, median, and mode of a set of numbers. Alright, so let's look at this problem here. Number 104. Ms. Bell gives an exam to her class. The scores are as follows. And it lists the scores. And it says, which of the following statements is true? The median is 80. The mode is 80. The mean is 80. In this problem here, it's asking you to find out the correct median, mode, and mean of these numbers. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this data set. And as a, a, always a good strategy is to organize them from least to greatest. So let's see, how many, how many data points in our set? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so we got 15 students in that class there. So I'm going to make, I'm going to set it up so I have 15 spaces to account for all the test scores. So that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I do this so that I don't forget a number when I organize it from lowest at least to greatest. All right, now I'm going to start organizing them. Let's see, the smallest number is 50, then 55, then I got two, I got a 60 and a 65. I got a 70, 170 here and 170 here, so two 70s and a 75. Okay, now I have uh, my 80, 1, 2, 3, 4 80s. Got to put all those 80s in. Make sure you really carefully don't miss one of those 80s. I got two 90s and uh, a 95 and a 100. Look at all these things that I'm doing to help make sure that I don't forget a number. You forget one number your mean, median, and mode is going to be off. Or definitely the mean is going to be off and the median could be off. The mode might be the same. But ever, you, don't want to, you don't want to forget any numbers, okay? All right, now let's do the mode first since that's the one that you can solve the fastest. The mode just means the number that appears the most. So here, 80 is the mode. So 80 is the mode. That, that, that statement's true. So I would only be choosing answer choices that included two. Now let's look for um, the median. The median is the middle number. So whenever we're finding the middle number, we always one strategy is order them from least to greatest, and then start eliminating them till you get to the middle number. So that's 50 and 100, 55, 95, 60 and 90, 65, 90, 70 and 80, 70, 80, 75, 80. Okay, the middle number here is 80. Now what's nice about this set is it had an odd number of uh, data points, so there's going to be a middle number. If it had an even number of data points, then we would take these two middle numbers, whatever they are, let's say they're A and B, we'd add them up and then we'd divide by two. Essentially we're finding the average if there was two, middle, two numbers in the middle. But in this case there's not, so it's just 80. Okay, so now we know that statements 1 and 2 are true. What about the mean? The, the mean is the average. Well, when you're finding out average, and this is where I, I really want you to get a pad of paper out right now because it's going to get a little trickier. When you find the average, you're adding up all the data points. You include the 100 there. You add up all the data points in your set, and you divide by the number. You find the total, and you divide by the number of data points in the set, 15. And this is going to get you your mean or your average. So when thinking about this, we gotta we gotta add up all these. And this is just gonna be very careful addition. That's the first part to find the total. Now, I like to I like to group them. I think grouping these data points, you know, when I'm adding up a lot of numbers, I, I kind of group them together. Like I see 50 plus 100 uh, plus um, 55. I add those up, I get 105. 60 plus 65, I add those together, I get 100, uh, 125. 
the 370s, well, 70, 70 plus 75 gets me 215. You're doing this on your own, by the way, so please don't, don't just watch. I want you actually to practice this because you could make an easy mistake. What are four? What are four eighties? Well, that's um, eighty times four, or three hundred and twenty. I got three nineties minus the five, so three nineties would be two seventy plus the five would be two seventy five, and then I got this extra hundred here. Everyone agree so far with those? Now I'm going to take it one step further. I'm going to I'm going to group them one more time. How do I want to group them? Well, <clears throat> you want to group them in a way that makes your life easy. <clears throat> For example, let's say I took the hundred, the five, and the two fifteen. What's a hundred and five plus two fifteen? Well, that would get me what three hundred and twenty. And what about the hundred and twenty-five plus the two seventy-five? Well, that would actually get me four hundred. And what about the three twenty? plus the 100. That gets you 420. There's a 20 there. All right, so now I'm going to add those up. 320 plus 400 plus 420. Very carefully line up so I don't make a, a careless addition mistake. Work this out. Um, I got 8 plus two, 3 more is uh, 11. So my total here is 1,140. So now I'm, I'm going to do 1,140, remember, divided by 15. No one likes to do this type of division, but it's a, the second aspect of this problem, which is a division to find out the average. I take the total, I divide it by the number of terms, and I find out the average here. So i got to do long division. It's not really long division. It's kind of like mid-range division here, but still. So i got to be very careful. 15 doesn't go into 1 or 11, but it does go into 114 about 7 times. So 7 times 5 is five, 35, drop the 5, carry the 3, 7 times 1 is 7, plus the 3 is 105, subtract them. When I do the regrouping here, this becomes a 9, carry down the 0, 15 goes in, into 96 times, and then you know you've got the, the 3, carry the 6, you got the 9. Your average is 76. So this last statement is not true. Only the first two. Hi team, I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the Go Math workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful.